Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and all kinds of holidays, whatever you celebrate. Happy Krishna Day, whatever it is. And in our family, we always did have a Christmas. Some very lovely friends of ours gave us, thank you, Peggy and Nuria, they gave us this nice little tree that we have behind us. And um, our family always has had Christmas because we had small children. And, you know, why be dogmatic? Let's have a Christmas. And we, we let Buddhists love Jesus anyway. He's a great guy. He's a great savior. And we need, we need lots of saviors on this planet, that's for sure. We don't need to worry about just only one. And uh, there are many, you know, omnipotent deity cannot be restricted to saving people just with one, one shot deal. They have plenty of time to do many that they do. And Buddha also has extraordinary emanational powers and seeks to help people in many ways. Avalokiteshvara, Tara, there are so many great saviors. And we celebrated Christmas telling the story of the Buddha's miracle tree at the Tibetan New Year and that they founded, and maybe some Buddhists in India before that, but no one knows. But the Tibetans celebrated the Buddha's 15 days of miracles of the waxing moon of the first month of the lunar month, which comes in January, February. And um, uh, Buddha performed miracles for 15 days, and uh, there were six kings from six different countries, city-states in India at the time who made offerings to him. And all of the populations in a great field were witnessing. And he was having a miracle contest because he'd been challenged to do that by some other teachers. So on the very, very first or second day, I'm not remembering exactly, he was given a toothpick because he was given an offering of a melon or a mango or something. And so he took the toothpick and he put it in the ground and a gigantic tree grew up out of the ground covered with jewels, with, with jewels like, on, like Christmas tree ornaments, really. And, but these jewels had a magical property in that they radiated special light rays. And when anyone looked at them, the light rays went into their mind and they suddenly became clairvoyant and they could hear the thoughts of other people. And also their own thoughts became audible to the people around them, everyone, not just some special psychic ones. And therefore they became extremely mindful and very careful about what they were thinking. And they, their usual sort of negative grumbling thoughts, they tried to censor and to edit away and be very mindful only to think positive thoughts. And then, of course, very attentive when the Buddha taught to them, which was his main purpose of that miracle. So there's a giant wish-fulfilling gem tree with radiating lights that when it strikes you the light, your thoughts become apparent to everybody around you and you become aware of theirs, so you only have good thoughts. So it's very similar to Christmas, and that's how we celebrate it, as well as uh, thinking about little baby Jesus. So happy to wish you all a very happy holiday and a great new year, which will be the fire monkey year, a year of great dynamism and great um, power and energy. So make sure you focus on doing good things in that year and you'll have a great one. And all the best to you, okay? Bye from Ganden Dekiling here in the Catskills.